Hi everybody. Today we're going to see how to calibrate a centrifuge using a cell phone. This is my centrifuge. If you look inside, you can see where the samples go. It's a swinging, well you probably can't see that very well, but it's a swinging bucket centrifuge. And, uh, okay. Let's spin her up. Oh, I guess I should show you that part here. There we go. As you can see, I'm holding my cell phone in place with a rock. But it's more fun if you can see the controls. Okay. Now, when you first start it up, it, it, it'll give you some weird number. You got to get it up past uh, 16 hertz or 16 RPM. Looks like it just kicked in. 19 hertz, 20 hertz. Well, those aren't RPMs, those are RPSs. Revolutions per second. Get up there. How come you're not working? There you go. You got to get the right position. This doesn't work with every cell phone, by the way. And in fact, it doesn't even work with this cell phone every time. Um, it works pretty good, though. Now let's crank her up. Can you see that? 40 hertz. How hot does it go? <laughs> I love turning it up all the way. Fifty hertz. Fifty one hertz. Fifty two. <laughs> now we're really spinning. Okay, fifty two and a half. See, you know, it, it kind of warms up. It, it, it slowly increases. But you know, I don't know what that is. That's the old bearings. Oh, by the way, um, this is an old version of a International Clinical Centrifuge, an IEC clinical. Um, the old version has sleeve bearings, and you need to oil. Um, I don't know. I'll just turn this up a little bit. You can see, see that. No, you probably can't. Anyway, under there is a little thing you unscrew. It has an oil wick in there. And uh, what you do is you put oil on the oil wick. And there's another one inside. Um, to find out more about how to oil an old motor, um, antique fans. Look at the guys who are uh, refurbishing antique fans and you'll find out what kind of oil to use and what not. Um, if you find a manual on the IEC, it'll say that you should check the brushes on the motor. And the, the brushes are in the front. Well, you can't really see that either. But um, I wouldn't check the brushes unless you had new brushes ready to go and put in. Because chances are, if uh, you actually need new brushes, you're not going to get the old ones to go back. So I'm just going to let mine run. Hope for the best. It's kind of light duty. You know, it's not like I'm spinning every day. Okay, let's take her down. In principle, this thing has seven positions, seven speeds. And like I say, this is the old slider version. 
more modern versions have a different one. But I love, I can run big samples on it, up to 50 milliliter tubes I can run. A pair of 50 milliliters, that's pretty good. Oh look, we're running 90, yeah, see it gets mixed up sometimes. Well, so do I. 45 hertz. Seven, six, this is position five. Oh, you can't actually see that. Ha uh ha, -huh. there we go. <laughs> okay, okay, well it gets mixed up, like I said. There you go. Come on, baby. 32. 32, 31.9. Okay, let's go down to the next one. Twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-five. That's position four, right? Anyway, doesn't matter. We have a way to estimate how many revolutions per second. I'm just going to turn that baby off right now. Let's calculate, if we can, the G-force. I'll be right back. Got to go get my notebook. Okay. Oh, I'm going to need a piece of paper, too. I'll be right back. Actually, that has a calculator, but yeah, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to turn it off. Get some light. So, <laughs> live from New York, it's centrifugal force. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do this. Acceleration equals V squared over R. So I measured R for the small centrifuge tube to be R equals 14.3 centimeters equals 0.14 meters. Okay. Now, the velocity equals 2 pi r times the frequency. 2 pi r times the frequency. So v squared equals, oh, can you see that? Equals um, 4 pi squared r squared f squared. So at 50 hertz, let's say 50 hertz, 50 hertz, and okay, let's just calculate this out. 4 times pi equals times pi equals times 0.14 equals times 0.14 equals times 50 equals times 50. I'm sure there's an easier way to do that. I get 
one nine three four. Hmm. Okay. Divide that by R. Divided by point one four equals. Divided by point one four equals. Yeah, I just didn't believe that. Thirteen eight one four meters squared per second. Okay. Acceleration of gravity is ten nine point eight meters per second squared. So that's about equals. 1381 G's. So, <laughs> that's a lot of G's. <laughs> the reason you want to know that is so that you can look up your centrifuge tube and see if it's going to explode when you put it in the centrifuge. Um, the ones I got in there now are rated to 1700 G's. We're running at around 1400. We're cool. Alright, have a nice day everybody.